Hey guys, getting ready to uh, plant these new boxes right here that I built for growing hydroponic lettuce and other leafy greens. What I've done right now is go ahead and filled up all four. And with this black plastic in here, the water's heating up pretty good. You had real cold tap water coming in. So I'm gonna bring the water temperatures up just a little bit and then go ahead and get my lettuce put in here. And what I'm gonna do is an experiment. I'm gonna compare the master blend that I've been using for quite a while now. Uh, the regular base miracle Grow. I'm going to use the tomato formula miracle Grow, and I'm going to use a fertilizer that a lot of people speak highly of, and that's the Jax 202020. I'm going to put that in the bed there. So I've got four different fertilizers, four beds. We're going to get these things planted and see exactly what does what. Here is my four fertilizer options. On the left there is the Master Blend. That's the one that I mix with calcium nitrate and Epsom salt to get a full uh, nutrient formula. Then we're going to use just the regular miracle Grow. The, uh, the one for the tomatoes and then the jacks on the right hand side there. Uh, we're going to go with just the what's in the box right now and see how it does. Before I add my fertilizer, I need to figure out how much to put in there. And to do that, I need to know how much water is in each reservoir. So we're going to take this formula, length times width times depth, to be 45 times 29 times 5. Gives me 65, 25. Divide that by 1728 equals 3.77 times 7.48 gives me 28.2 gallons of water in a reservoir this size and we'll just round that to an even number of 28 gallons. Is there a shorter way to do this? There probably is but it's been a long time since I did any volume calculations in high school. I spend most of my time counting tomatoes. As for how much fertilizer to put in there, I've been using 10 grams of fertilizer per 5 gallons which equals 2 grams per gallon. I prefer to mix it up in a 5 gallon bucket with the 10 as opposed to trying to do one gallon for two because I think you got more margin for error in a larger volume of water. So we're going to take the 28 gallons of water, multiply it by two grams per gallon, gives me 56 grams of fertilizer to go in each reservoir. Nice and simple. Now normally I would put my fertilizer in a five gallon bucket and get it dissolved and then pour it in here. But in this case, I wanted to go ahead and fill the reservoirs, get the water levels up and get them heated up a little bit before I got started. So we just put my fertilizer in here. This is the first box is the master blend. I'll work and get that dissolved. And then we're going to go with the base miracle Grow right here. We're going to put the tomato formula in this one. And the last box right here will be Jack's. So I'll mix these around real easy. Make sure everything is really uh, dissolved in here. And then I get started planting. Real quick, what I've been using for my seed starting is these rockwool cubes right here. They work out really well in that you've got the roots and everything contained in the cube and you just take it, set it right down in a two inch neck cup, put it in the hole and you don't really disturb the roots. To get these guys planted, just gonna reach up under here and pull out a section. Go ahead and break them apart real quick. Take that thing, stick it right down in your neck cup, drop it in the hole. I've been using one seed per hole and sometimes it don't get germination so I end up with some that don't have anything in it. What I need to do is switch over and start using at least two seeds and uh, up my odds and then just come back and uh, clip the extra one out. But you don't get much simpler than this right here. Just take it, drop it right down in, nothing to it. Alright guys, that went pretty fast. Nice and simple to get this thing set up. Today is February 15th, day after Valentine's Day. So I'll check back in about two weeks and uh, see what's going on. And just make sure that when you put these things in here, that you've got a little bit of water, maybe a quarter inch or so at the base of this cup. And the way to find out if you want to is just pull them out, drop your empty cup down in there, make sure you see some water, and you'll be good to go. Today is Friday, March 8th. It's been three weeks since I put this lettuce in the beds and we're going to try to do a little bit of comparison right here. Looking at them from right to left, that's the first bed that had the master blend in it. Then we want to go with the uh, regular miracle Grow, the tomato formula, and on the end down there is the Jack's 202020. Right off hand, I can tell you the bed on the right side there that had the master blend in it is the one that's uh, doing the best. We'll look up under here and see what's going on with the roots. And these look, uh, I think they look very good. 
Nice, clean, white, good looking roots on that. We'll look at the base miracle Grow, And they're coming on too. Roots not as big as the master blend though. Neither are the plants. The last two boxes, this is the tomato formula miracle Grow. Looks pretty good, not too bad. And this one right here, I don't know what's going on with it. This is the Jax 20, 20, 20. And you look up under here, roots um, look kind of scraggly to me. I don't know what the situation is. Looking at them up close and personal with the master blend on the right side and the uh, one on the left hand is the uh, base miracle Grow. You can see a pretty good difference there. I think I know what's going on. Let me go do some explaining. To explain what I think is going on here, let's look at the uh, NPK stuff real quick. Just a quick refresher course. This is what you're going to see on your bags of fertilizer. You'll see three numbers. First one, the N is for the nitrogen. That's generally where you get that big green leafy stuff from. If you want to have a whole lot of green leaves, nice and green, throw the nitrogen to it. The P, which would be your second number, is the phosphorus. That's generally where you get the, uh, a lot of flower growth, the blossoms. Also very important for a good root growth. The third number, the K, is the potash, or some people call it potassium. That's what's responsible for the overall health of the plant. Uh, some of the disease resistant stuff, also very important for that early root growth. Now let's take a look at the NPKs of the four fertilizers that I have. The Master Blend, the Base miracle Grow, the Tomato Formula miracle Grow, and the Jax uh, Triple 20. The Master Blend, when I mix it out like the manufacturer uh, recommends, I come up with about a 20, 18, 38. Got a circle around that 38. That's very high in relation to the rest of these, almost twice as much. 38% uh, potassium or potash in that fertilizer. The base miracle grow, 24, 8, 16. That second number, the phosphorus, I talked about this uh, in another video. Very low content right here. The tomato formula, the miracle grow, is 18, 18, 21. This is what's on that box. It's uh, fairly balanced, not a bad fertilizer. And the Jack's Professional, the Triple 20, 20, 20, 20, naturally, is a little bit of a disappointment to me because I had read a lot of reviews and there's very highly rated fertilizer and I know it does a good job. It's just not being comparable to the Master Blend. Will these eventually produce the same size head of lettuce as the Master Blend? I think in uh, enough time they will, but it's going to take a little bit longer. Also, this is not meant to disparage either of these fertilizers. They are all three very good. They each have their uses, but I don't think they were intended to be used for the uh, hydroponic stuff like I'm doing. The goal of this experiment was to find out if you could take either of these three straight out of the box without doing any mixing of calcium nitrate, Epsom salt, anything like that. Just keep it nice and simple. Take a, a, just a fixed amount out of each uh, container throw it in your reservoir and go with it. And so far, yes you can, but you're not gonna get the same results that I'm getting with the Master Blend. All right guys, we're gonna wrap this one up here after the first three weeks. I'll come back in another couple of weeks or so and uh, see what the final results are. But early on, right now, the Master Blend is the better fertilizer option for doing this. The, uh, the second choice I think would be the, uh, the Tomato Formula miracle Grow followed by the Base miracle Grow, And believe it or not, the 20-20-20, the Jack's Triple 20, uh, appears to be the lesser choice uh, so far. How this would play out with other vegetables, I'm not exactly sure. That would have to be some other type of experiment. So I hope that was helpful. Y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time. If you found this video to be helpful, informative, entertaining, or just downright funny, don't forget to subscribe.